Robert Mpofu is a popular brand in Zimbabwean politics and media. Mpofu is a man who needs no introduction as he is a political heavyweight who has navigated his way through different political landscapes since the 1970s. Last week Albert Mpofu was the second most popular name after President Ed Nangagwa and his historic visit to Glasgow. Mpofu was recently in the media for two things one. The Cybertha Musengi court challenge against President Ed Nangagwa and two. The Asitakeni Farm Allocation.The timing of both headlines and Aubert and Bofa's headline making in both cases might seem to be a coincidence, but to the discerning mind, one can't help but think that there is a conspiracy. The Cyberth Musengi Core Challenge. Albert Mpofu is the man who was elected to chair the ZANU PF Central Committee meeting, which passed a resolution to recall former President Robert Gabriel Mugabe and reinstate President Emerson D. Nangagwa, as well as deploy Ed Nangagwa to finish R.G. Mugabe's term of office. Ed Nangagwa did not appoint himself. Hence any challenge on the legitimacy of President Ed Nangagwa would be a challenge on the meeting and process which appointed Nangagwa. Robert Mpofu, therefore, is key in the legitimacy challenge, and he is equally key in ensuring that ZANU-PF runs smoothly on a daily basis as Secretary for Administration, especially leading towards the much-hyped 2023 elections. It is likely that anyone who wants to mount a fight against President Ed Nangagwa would also mount a fight against Mbofu, as he is a key ally and functionary of the president and the ruling party. Distracting Albert Mbofu from his daily duties as Secretary of Administration could derail the party as it makes headway towards a resounding victory in 2023. Regime change agents know and understand the critical role of Secretary for Administration, hence the need to distract Mpofu from daily duties as Secretary for Administration. The Asitakeni farm ownership narrative is one way of distracting Albert Mpofu. The ghost of Eddie Warambwa is haunting Sifo Malunga, Zeft Lamini, and Charles Mpofu. Eddie Warambwa ran Asitakeni Farm, which reportedly went under the hammer to service loans which its late owner failed to settle. The 1000 hectare farm is located in the rich Nyaman Lovu farming area in Matabeland North Samguza district and was owned by Mr. Eddie Warambwa, who died in South Africa where he had relocated to, abandoning the farm and turning it into a white elephant. With over 500 dairy cows at its peak, 300 workers, and a top milk supplier to Darabird, Zimbabwe, the farm was a very lucrative business venture. The farm ownership wrangle has hit the media with a CISA boss and top media financier Saifo Malunga controlling the narrative through the several publications which owe him allegiance. The media claims that Mpofu grabbed a Sitakeni estate when in fact he was subjected to processes like any other Zimbabwean. Robert Mpofu didn't grab, neither did he give himself an offer letter. Therefore it is mischievous and malicious to state that Mpofu grabbed a Sitakeni estate when he was offered. The narrative is set against Mpofu to tarnish his image and make him seem like a greedy land-grabbing politician so that he is distracted from his daily duties. Robert Mpofu now has to clear his name from the Asitakeni saga, while there is a court challenge against President Ed Nangagwa and there are conference resolutions that need to be implemented on the road to 2023. As an astute politician, Mpofu needs to ignore the noise and the distractions and focus on his duties to the Revolutionary Party. The Sitakeni estate is a saga on its own, Sifo Malunga and Zef Lamini are not saints, neither are they victims in the Asitakeni saga. That is a story for my next installment. Nicholas Nkube is a socio-political commentator, researcher and blogger based in Ontario, Canada.